What is up guys, welcome to another video. As you saw my last video, I'm in Dubai and this place is absolutely unbelievable. Not only the weather, but also the things that you can do here. The food, people, just everything. It's just so, so nice here and I don't want to go home. I don't want to think about going home. Well, I still have a week left, but I don't want to think about it. And the fact that I'm in Dubai doesn't mean that I don't go to the gym. The food here is just, just incredible and yeah, on vacation, I'm just enjoying myself a bit, you know. But that means that we also need to hit the gym hard, make some gains and put the calories to good use. So today we're going to hit the gym, have a good workout and we also have a couple of special guests. We got Mike Thurston, Mad Does Fitness, Marine, Oliver. It's gonna be a good session, we're gonna hit some chest, probably. Well, we have to, I mean, we got Matt and Mike. But first, I need to go grab a coffee and maybe some food because you guys know I can't go without any caffeine, so let's go. Coffee for the view, can't get back. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee and then I'll see you guys at the gym. Alright, they arrived. Here we got Matt. <laughs> so, big crew. Let's get a good chest pump. This is the secret to having a big band. Just snacking in between sets. <laughs> Maximizing bench press to food consumption ratio. Luko also joined us, big bro Oliver Dubai. from Sweden. Yeah. He's leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow, oh. tomorrow morning. So fortunate here now. Getting fortunate, but chest session in. So yeah. But uh, we'll we'll get another workout then. Oh yeah, for sure. Anytime for sure. soon. So we'll yeah. get it done. Matt, if you have to give like three quick tips to increase your bench press. Three, uh, yeah. a lot of tips for me. No, just quick, just quick ones. Uh, okay, so the first one would be like to prioritize bench. So it sounds obvious, but like if you're doing a push workout and you do bench as like your third exercise, it's not gonna be, the quality's gonna be low, right? So make it your first exercise and take like good recovery. Don't try and, if you're, if you're training for bodybuilding, you're taking like a minute recovery, that's fine. But for trying to get strong and like practice the skill, you need to have a good like three, four minutes between your, 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 your main working sets. On top of that, I'd say, 
I'd say like get like a nice solid setup, like have an arch. Think, uh, some people are kind of scared to use an arch because either they think it's like there's less benefit in terms of like hypertrophy, or they think it's like bad for your back. Like again, if you're trying to get better at a bench press by arching and you're and bringing your grip a little bit wider, you're shortening the range of motion, therefore making it a more efficient movement. So. Uh, again, do that, practice the skill of that movement, get good at it, and then that's it, game right, over. Man. Thanks. Let's do this guy because he knows what he's talking about. I've seen his bench, it's ridiculous. I used to do like 50s, you know, yeah. but... Uh, uh, or did you manage to keep on the chest? Yeah, it just didn't feel right, you know. Didn't yeah. really have that, that chest activation, only pushing my front out a lot. Yeah. And once I injured myself, so yeah. Was it like rotating? I don't know what it was. It was like pretty weird because I had like this very weird feeling, my real doubt. Yeah. And I went to my, uh, to my physio, he did like his right. Dry knee, like you know, yeah, 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 yeah. done it before. I mean, it was so painful. My my arm felt like so heavy after. Yeah. It's crazy. But you don't want to risk bringing back an old injury again, so it's better just to keep it safe and yeah, exactly. the lighter. And I saw your video. I think one of the recent ones. You say that you drop the weight, really focus more on the form, yeah. and that you don't do a lot of exercise, right? Yeah, and this really like. I'll just pick like four good chest exercises and just nail the execution and really that's all you need as long as you sort of you manipulate the volume like the the, the sort of the, the drop sets or the intensity whatever it might be just change it over time you don't need to do like 10 different chest exercises it's better to select fewer exercises and be really good at them than to do loads and execute them like pretty average Calories in. The teriyaki salad right there. What's this? Uh, Big bowl it's like a of banana. greens and vitamins and all the stuff that we need. Peanut butter and jam and it. Some grilled yeah. chicken, grilled yeah. onions, and mushrooms. Pretty clean. All right, so we just had some dinner with the boys. Now we're ending today with late night swim. 
that's it for this video guys i hope you like it make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more thanks for watching see you guys in the next one